All right, here we are with Livina again. We have a Jolly Lopany with Cute Charm, Dizzy Punch Entrainment, Retaliate, Miracoat, Timid Swana with Keen Eye, Air Slash, Aqua Ring, Water Pulse, Roost, Calm Deerling with Sap Sipper, Grass Knot, Leech Seed, Echoed Voice, Thunder Wave, Modest Grimer with Stench, Sludge Disabled, Mud Bomb to Minimize, Jolly Deerling with Sap Sipper, Facade Attract, Faint Attack, Light Screen, and a Calm Grimer with Stench, Venom Shock, Acid Armor, Toxic, and Screech. All right, Fidel. Last I checked, Simipore was a death sentence to take when I lost with him twice. So... Oh, but... I mean, Deer Deerling's not strong. This thing gets low sweep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lopany. L. Imagine losing your only two good Pokemon. Well, I mean, you have the Fire Fang Growlithe. That's your other good Pokemon, but that's about it. Everything else sucks. And that's only if the Growlithe has Intimidate. I mean, Flash Fire, sure, but... See, the issue is Incinerate can't even hit the other Growlithe. If that Growlithe has Flash Fire, the only thing that can hit it, if you look at it from a double or triple battle perspective, is the other Growlithe. With either Will-O-Wisp or Incinerate. Will-O-Wisp is inaccurate. I don't think that would always work. I'm pretty sure it's still accuracy checks. Incinerate can't hit allies. Okay. Um. Hmm. What could I do? Which deer lane did you take? I don't remember my team. I'm going to be honest. I know I just did the summary. I don't remember. Uh... You took the facade fan attack one. I have the grass not echoed voice. Okay. I guess we'll start by using light screen. Why not? I mean, we're just going to water pulse that Growlithe. And then set up a leech seed. I think Leaf Seed works on grass types on this gem. Okay. I guess we're both setting up light screen. Oh, does this guy's Whimsicott not have Prankster? Bro, you fucked up. Why would you not have a Prankster Whimsicott? Come on. Come on, man. Really? Okay. Giga Drain Cub Chew, since that's not resisted. Air Slash Lopany. Since Leech Seed is set up, now I'm gonna swap. That Deerling doesn't have a super effective move. Like I said, it only has Facade and Fan Attack. The other Deerling only has Grass Knots. It's only stabbed Grass move, so... The most dangerous thing it has is Facade. Which is why I didn't Thunder Wave it, which I considered. Thanks for the free HP. That's bouncing out the hail. Thunder Shock versus Sludge. I don't want to waste a turn setting up. I'm just going to send in this one. There's probably about to be background noise real soon. I hear my neighbor with his loud, loud muffler on his truck. Don't ask me why. Look, there's one thing when you want to show off. There's another when it's obnoxiously loud. Now granted, it's probably still fair to do. Because, one, it's his. And two, it's not like anyone's trying to sleep or anyone's waking up. 
it's not early in the morning. It's not late at night. It's 4.43 p.m. So, I mean, that's all him. He can do whatever, I guess. Does it still suck on my point of view? Yeah, I can't say much. Nor do I want to. Not my place. All it is is just deal with it. Some will disagree. Some will agree. Most will probably disagree. But. If he's not really hurting you, then leave him be, right? I thought Lopini just went down. Damn. Well, it yeah, it did. <laughs> it will. It did. Oh, wait, no, that's not my name. No. That's not the truck. That's not the guy with the truck. No, that's my neighbor who just got a motorcycle, which is so much quieter. Yeah, it's sad when that... Oh, there he goes. It's sad when that is quieter than the damn loud muffler on your truck. I've been on an autopilot, like, probably the past minute and a half right now. Just letting this go by without tapping the screen. That, damn it, your sap sipper. Okay. I forgot that I gave my deerling sap sipper. I forgot these are my deerling, to be honest. I mean, it, it gets chlorophyll or sap sipper. I gave it sap sipper because there, there's no one that sets up sun in this entire tournament. Rain gets set up. Sandstorm gets set up. Hail gets set up. No one has sunny day. No one has drought. That'll be GG's with a side of salt. Damn it! What? Wh huh? Okay, just not just one, but both. Or okay. I was about to say, what the hell? Okay, to be fair, to be fair, Kupchu does have Snow Cloak. That's the only ability it gets that isn't hidden. No, what am I doing? Go back. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We still won. One thing I regret doing when I made every Pokemon have zero IVs, if it, like, for speed, I think I only did it for speed. Like, if they had certain moves where they need to be slower and they don't lose priority as a result, so I just gave them zero IVs in speed. I wish I gave them zero IVs in attack if they didn't have any physical moves. But I wasn't thinking about that. I thought of that, but not for confusion. I only thought of that for foul play, which some Pokemon do have foul play, and I figured not many tournaments have foul play anyway. There's no point. Well, a mistake I have made. That's my bad. Oh, well. I mean, it's pretty much too late now to change them. I mean, it's not too late, but... At this point, I consider me genning in the Pokemon as just a finished product. 
Like, I'm, it's done at this point. I've started the series. That's that. I only started to consider it because I know Grimer's more of a physical attacker. Oh, you fucking idiot. Why would you pick Deerling when you're a bug user? And my Grimer. Um, that's perfectly fine with me. Okay. I didn't pay attention to which Deerling. Oh well. Alright, let's do this. After this, there are only two more teams. I'm debating on just finishing it up right now. Today. I know, six videos. Call me crazy. But can you blame me? I'm excited to get done with this. I just want to get to the fun stuff. And we will. And it only gets more fun from there. It never gets boring. Maybe type expert. Maybe because there's less variety. But there's also less trainers. Less variety in who we fight, I mean. But there's also less trainers to do. So it's only like three fights. It counteracts each other. It doesn't matter. Um, what could I do first? Leech Seed affects grass types, I think, in this gen. I think they changed it in Gen 6, just like how they changed, like, Paralysis. Where Electro types can't be paralyzed starting in Gen 6. I'm pretty sure. I think... Fire types have always been able to get burnt, right? Oh, Sap Zipper. Fuck, I forgot about that. Okay, well, it's not because of Leech Seed, at least. But hot damn. Oops. Scavalier. Dizzy Punch is base 70, right? Because if it's base 70, then yeah, I can use Dizzy Punch and Retaliate interchangeably. Dizzy Punch is still better with a chance of confusion, but... That Sap Zipper is fucking me up. Okay. It is base 70, right? Yeah. Okay. So they can be interchangeable. I keep forgetting that bug resist ground. Man, that's so dumb. I mean, I guess I get it, but... It just makes the Scavalier and Scizor only weak to fire. I don't know if there are any other bug steel types. Listen, I've, I'm have i on a Gen 5 craze. Sometimes I go on a Gen 6 craze, but I've been on a Gen 5 craze lately, if it isn't obvious enough by this entire series. I also haven't played Gen 9, so I don't know if they added any more bug steel types. Please do not tell me if you watch this video in the comments. I don't want to be spoiled. I will play when I get the chance. I don't have the chance yet. Um, Gen 8, I don't know if there are any bug steel types. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Scizor and Escavalier are the only ones. I'm scared to look it up because I don't know if there are any Gen 9 Pokemon that are bug steel type. I mean, I could ask someone if there are any. Someone who's played the game. Someone who's completed the decks, actually, preferably. You picked the wrong Grimer, fool. <laughs> you picked the wrong Grimer, fool! I put too much of a V sound to that F. You picked the wrong Grimer, fool! There we go. It's probably offensive that I... <laughs> that I make it, make that, like... 
accent? I don't know if accent's the right term. Yeah, I'm sure someone gets what I'm trying to say. Hey, I'm just quoting a, a good character. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Yeah, I have that memorized. Believe it or not. Also, I should have used retaliate when dealing went down. Or... No, because I said... Dealing went down a long time ago. What about Gri or No, that was Swana. That's right. No, because Grimer already attacked. And took damage. No, okay. It's way too late to use retaliate. You might protect. I'm not going to bother. Of course you don't protect. I still don't want to attack you because you might protect next turn. Or you might use toxic. I don't know. Who said they're predictable? If I didn't have these moves up, I would definitely struggle on later tournaments. I'm going to be honest with you. It may be cheap that I'm looking them up. And to an extent, I do agree. Because they obviously can't see my moves, nor do they really acknowledge some of the moves that I have. But... It's going to be nigh impossible with the intelligence level that they have going further, especially with better stats and coverage. Like, I can't think of every coverage move a Pokemon gets. And there's, like, nine different Magnazone. I don't know what each Magnazone could have. One could be a Stolly one, one might not be. It, there's just no telling. And, like, Kanto leaders, there are two Executor. 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 I don't know why I put so much, um, emphasis on the tour. Executor. Executor. That's weird. No. Executor. Um, one's by Erica, one's by Sabrina. And Kanto leaders, I'm not gonna remember the difference, nor do I even remember the difference between the two. So, yeah, you, you'll bet your ass that I'm looking that shit up. You crazy? And it also just saves me time. Like, I, if you think it's cheap, I want you to go through the same challenge. If you can, you probably can't. And look up the teams. Or not, not look up the... Uh, gen all these Pokemon in. I mean, I did debate in the description whether to put um, their uh, stats and everything. And EVs and IVs, just everything that I have. Down in the description. So, people can, like, you know, use it. Because I don't, I don't claim these Pokemon as my own. Yeah, I put hard work and effort into it, but... At the same time, I literally just took what I saw on Bulbapedia, and then the EVs and IVs, not the IVs, the IVs, I literally just looked at moves that I remember being better when you're slower, that don't have a priority drop. And I looked at the list on Reddit because I couldn't remember all of them. I knew there was like Gyro Ball, or no, it wasn't Reddit, no, it was Database. How did I mix the two up? Yeah, it was database. One of the old database threads. And I remember the list being like Gyro Ball, Trick Room, Payback. I think that was it up to Gen 5. Database is reliable for Gen 5 information. Well, for 
database threads, not database itself, because it'll show the up-to-date base stats of the recent generation, and then it'll just show the changes below them. Different from how Bulbapedia has, like, two or three different charts of base stats. I mean, it's easier on database, but for me, the more visual, the better. Deerling, okay. Um... Statlin. I hope it's Intimidate. My other dealing. No, the, the Pokemon that also has a super effective mood to dealing. These Chinchinos scared me, though. Okay. Damn, the camera struggled to focus right there. But that was a, that was like a weird cool effect. Play that back. You're probably tempted. That was weird hearing Deerlings cry back to back. Why did Deerling get taken every time, bro? Nice crit. Here comes motorcycle. In the background, background noise. Are we just gonna attack in a line? Is this pretty much what I'm doing? Damn, this Wildrag must be bulkier than the other one, because not even a crit would have one shot. Unless that was an extremely low roll and the crit was an extremely high roll. Either or. There's no way it's both. I need to stop using Aerial Ace. I can slash now. Oops. Hey, Aerial Ace just looks cool, though. Can you blame me? I've always loved Aerial Ace. I like that red and how they... I, they, they, they handle it so well. <clears throat> Oh, let's go, Rock Glass Mist. Damn it, Swana. We still pretty much won. Oh, damn. What are you living on? I'm sorry, what? One HP. 
Lovely. Okay. Don't miss and you're good. Alright, those GG's. Whew. Alright, I'm tempted to just finish this entire thing off, get the last two trainers today, and that'd be six. That'd be six videos, sure. But I'm sure it was already jarring enough when I uploaded four. Would anyone be surprised with six? Not enough people watch this, let's be real. Hey, I looked at YouTube Studio. Some people just jump around or they only stick around for a bit. So half the things I say don't really matter, right? Unless this video gets popular later on, YouTube tends to do that. But I kept thinking that with a lot of my videos and it hasn't happened. <laughs> the, my most popular video right now is Legends Arceus. Me finding a, a weird animation bug with Sneasler. Alright. Okay, I'm going to cut this one there and I'll see you on the next one.